before we just touch on classroom culture, I just want to remind you from the golden rule, do what works best for you. These are just suggestions. And in this quest is a featured image that features a quote from something I wrote, not there, <laughs> over on maclab.gameful.me called Reimagine. And as I say in this article, let's just imagine other possibilities. Not do it. These aren't marching orders. It actually says that down deeper. It's just, let's think about this. What would it mean? What would it mean if we stopped focusing on curriculum and started focusing on culture? What is the culture of your classroom? Culture, you know, I teach this subject. The culture is this subject. This is what we do. Well, if you're going to gamify your classroom, you can leverage the game mechanics in order to amplify the experience for the students by creating a culture. And I'm going to get into the culture that I've created. Follow your own path. Do what works best for you. But if you lay down your quest, starting with here's assignment one, two, three, and just work on these things, and here's your homework, well, you've missed a golden opportunity to set the stage and create an environment that the kids see as different, significantly different than they experience in traditional classrooms. Because let's face it, if you're going to be using game mechanics, you're no longer well, you have the opportunity to cease to be the traditional, ordinary classroom. I know there's nothing ordinary about your classroom, but the experience of walking in, what do I got to do to get an A and all this? And, you know, we'll talk about grades. But the culture of your classroom, what's that mean? Well, we'll explore it in the following quests through you know, literal connections that you can begin to tap into to discover your culture if you don't have one established already.